today i would like to discuss about server side template injection so in this video we will find out how we can detect server side template injection and later we will see how we can exploit that vulnerability so first of all let's see how we can able to detect server side template injection the process is simple the first one we need to identify the reflection of user input it, it is similar to how we can find xss see uh, if we enter any user input it will reflect in the response right similarly we need to identify uh, if we pass on any user input where it is being reflected that is our first point and the second point we need to identify the template engine because uh, in today's world there are a lot of template engines that are being used by developers so actually these templates will be used to separate the business logic with presentation layer like html and css so if you want to know in detail about what is template why we need to use the template how developers utilize that you can comment out in the uh, video later i will do a detailed video from the developer point of view how they use these templates so uh, for this video i will focus on how we can identify and how we can exploit so the first step i already told we need to identify the reflection of user input and the second step uh, there are different template engines so for each template engine it will have different syntax so we need to identify the template engine that is being used by uh, the backend so for that actually what we will do is uh, we have a list of payloads for each uh, each different template engine so that we can apply all the payloads and we will see which of the payload is being evaluated and which is showing the result suppose if i enter 7 into 7 if it is evaluated as 49 and if i get the uh, reflection or if i get the uh, reflected value as 49 in the response then okay i feel that there is a template execution there is a rendering of the template so uh, based on the syntax that i supply in the payload based on the syntax i can able to identify the template engine for example if you see the image which is showing in the video uh, you will able to understand so, okay this these are the syntax and based on this syntax we can able to identify this is the uh, template engine so that is our next step and the third step would be since we identify the uh, template engine the template engine has its own syntax uh, we can search for the syntax of the template engine uh, and based on that syntax we will try to uh, send the payload and we will try to exploit that so this is how generally we can uh, do uh, right from the identifying the server side template injection to exploiting it let's quickly get our hands dirty with this hands-on video so that you can able to understand it more so here is my vulnerable lab if i click on this view details uh, unfortunately this product is out of stock okay if i see the uh, request and response uh, see it is the request so it is say uh, there is a message input field and uh, it is having the value of unfortunately this product is out of stock okay if i search that response unfortunately okay it is being reflected here so let's quickly send it to repeater okay if i send this message oh if i search for that okay it is being uh, reflected that is fine so what if if i change this user input to high kick whether it is 
reflecting yeah it is being reflected so it is our entry point so here i can send my payloads i need to find whether it is evaluating or not uh, so here i need to pass in my payloads for payloads i can quickly search for server server side template injection payloads see here there is there is a set of payloads since we don't know uh, what template engine that is it is being used so that uh, we can pass on each and every payload so see if you see here there is syntax like this with flower brackets and here the syntax is little different and here the syntax is little different and here the syntax is little different so it is combining uh, all the syntax all the payloads which are suitable for all the template engines so that i can pass these payloads one by one either you can do it manually or else you can do it using intruder or else you can do it uh, writing custom script and passing the payload and uh, seeing the result i usually do this by writing the custom script but for this demo i am just uh, simply copying it and uh, pasting okay if i click on send let me see see whatever i am sending it is reflecting so it is not evaluating so that means this payload is not working let me try my like with second payload okay oh, it is also not working let me try with um, this payload oh yeah it is also not working let me try with this payload okay three into three so i am pasting this payload and i am sending c nine we are getting nine okay let me type something seven into eight or oh, let me see whether it is evaluating or not oh it is evaluating that means this payload is working so based on this syntax i can able to tell that the backend server is using uh, the template engine of uh, ruby so from the image you can able to figure out right uh, the syntax will belongs to ruby so we have identified uh, injection point and uh, we have successfully tested whether it is evaluating or not our third step is we need to uh, exploit it so here our target is to do the remote code execution how i can do that what is the syntax to uh, send the payload to do remote code execution let me search for that we have a beautiful page here hack trick server side template injection okay then i can able to search for ruby uh, see for ruby template what it is uh, saying is uh, 77 equal to 49 okay uh, let me uh, confirm again whether it is uh, this template engine or not by submitting this input it should give us the error right okay let me send it it should give us error let me see it 
I think I can URL encode it. Command. Okay. It should give me error. See here it is giving undefined local variable or method foobar. It is returning some error, right? And here also it is <laughs> it is uh, giving us whatever whatever the template it is being used erb ruby okay based on the error message we can even cross confirm okay uh, let's see how we can do remote code execution if i copy the first payload uh, if i paste it here oh yeah my if i make it um, url encoded let's see whether it is giving any result who oh, yeah, am i whether it is executing or not see if i type who oh, am i it is giving carlos okay let me type ls i can execute whatever commands i want right see uh, if i type ls it is showing me this file so now I want to remove this file from the server. What I can write? Remove file.txt. Uh, see, let me see. Uh, since I removed that file, now let me type ls. See, there is no files and our lab uh, motto is to remove that file only congratulations we have solved the lab so this is how we can identify and we can exploit server side template injection that is all for today's guys if you like the video like share and subscribe to my channel thank you